materials. Thin set, up to 15 pounds per unit to fill the 10 by 10 inch floor cut, allowing for complete contact with the base of the unit. Two five gallon buckets, two and a half gallons of water, 50 one and a quarter inch wood screws, three eight foot two by fours, one eight inch piece of two by four, one 24 inch piece of two by four, two large soft cloths to cover the shorter two by four pieces, wooden shims provided with the shower, solid wood flooring adhesive, one gallon of water for testing the draft to the drain, tools, grout mixer, three quarter inch trowel, claw hammer, drill, one eighth inch drill bit, screwdriver, screwdriver attachment to match screws, two foot level, torpedo level, spatula, black marker to mark the threshold, drain, helpful hints for installation, two five and a half foot pieces of PVC, these can be used to lay the product face down and roll it up to the framing pocket rather than sliding or picking it up. Please place cardboard from the carton into the bottom of the shower during installation to prevent damage to the finished surface. When placing the shower into the frame pocket, you can use the handle of the hammer to align the pipe with the drain hole. The code compliant showers provided by the Praxis Corporation are designed to meet all requirements of the stated codes for the given product. For ADA and ANSI 117.1 compliant product, it is important that the project has considered the code requirements for the valve and shower head placement as well as the finished floor to shower threshold profile. The ADA guidelines can be found at www.access-board.gov slash ADA AG. Following are the transition requirements for the 36 inch by 36 inch barrier free product and for the 60 inch transfer showers. The 36 inch by 36 inch product requires from the code a maximum curb transition of one half inch. The 60 inch compliant transfer shower requires a flush transition between the bathing room finished floor and the shower threshold. For your immediate installation scenario, determine the appropriate time to install the valve and additional hardware and do so accordingly. Remove the shipping blocks from under the shower. Here's our easy base shower. Let's look at the base and check it out. Based on these instructions, it should be fairly quick and easy. Make sure the framing pocket is proper size, square, and plumb. Check to make sure the floor is level and clean of any contaminants. Note that if the floor is greater than 1 8 inch out of level, the floor must be leveled using a floor leveling compound. Do not install an easy base unit if the floor is more than 1 8 inch out of level. Make sure the drain core opening through the slab is in correct position and is 6 inches in diameter. If this opening is 4 to 5 inches, there is a risk of the drain hitting the edge of the opening if the pipe is not centered. To prevent any confusion, there are two items to note related to this. Through the floor around the drain pipe, there needs to be a 6-inch core drill. At the top of the core drill at the top surface of the subfloor, a 1/2 inch by 10 inch by 10 inch recess is required. Dry set the shower into pocket and level to assure drain aligns and to determine if any furrowing strips are needed to properly fasten unit to studs. Place a mark across the front of where the threshold will be positioned. Pre-drill 1 8 inch holes into the flange area where the unit will be fastened to the studs. Drill the hole 16 inches on center on the horizontal flange and 8 inches on center on the vertical flanges. Remove shower from pocket. Now mix the thin set. Fill the box out area to within 1 8 inch of the top of the box out area with the thin set material. This is to fill the void and support the shower around the drain area that may be below floor level. Estimate the amount needed to assure 100% contact with the thin set to the bottom of the shower. Do not overfill this area with the thin set as it will prevent proper floor draft and may push the drain up causing the unit not to drain properly. Apply a good quality adhesive, 
using a 1 quarter inch to 3 8 inch notched trowel to cover 100% of the floor area where the shower will sit. We recommend the wood flooring contact adhesive. Make sure the adhesive is applied all the way to the black line. Use a spatula to wipe the adhesive to an even thickness of 3 16 inch across the installation area. Move the shower into position in front of the framing pocket and lean forward. Move the threshold into final position and lean the shower back into the pocket. Align drain fitting into place. Make sure the drain pipe is not pushing up the bottom of the shower. Make sure the drain pipe is not pushing up on the shower floor and that the no caulk drain does not hit the side of the drain area cutout placing upward pressure on the drain area of the shower. Plumb and level shower in framing pocket. Do not shim more than 1 8 inch. Check floor for proper draft and to assure there are no high spots or bulges on floor that will cause improper drainage. There are two purposes for checking the floor. One purpose is to use the level as a straight edge to check it across several planes from the outer edges to the drain to confirm a continuous line and no high or low spots between the two points. There should be continuous contact on the bottom of the straight edge. The second reason is to hold the level horizontal centering the bubble. With the level in this position, several points on the floor from outside edges to the drain should be checked to see a continuous wedge shape under the level increasing as it approaches the drain. If the product has high or low spots, remove excess flooring adhesive. Plumb and level shower again and check for proper draft towards drain. Once you have checked for proper draft and are certain that there is 100% contact between the drain area and thin set, secure the unit to the studs using the pre-drilled holes and 6D galvanized screws. Tighten the screws snug to the gel coat acrylic surface, but be careful not to over tighten and break the flange. To assure proper drainage, the unit must now be braced over the drain and the threshold. After the bracing is secured, take a gallon of water. Pour it liberally over the floor of the shower. Confirm the water is draining properly and that no puddling is occurring. Let shower sit for 72 hours for thin set and adhesive to cure and then remove the braces. For all jobs, but particularly large jobs, it is recommended that one unit be installed with all potential installers present for the installation. The installers can be trained and coached on proper installation methods. After the 72 hours has passed and the braces are removed, bring everyone together again. Review the outcome, the feel of the floor with draft, no bulges and a solid foundation. Discuss the steps again and send the team forth to have successful installs throughout the remainder of the project. Water testing each unit is a very important step. Let's go back over some very important steps during this installation process. If installing an easy base, you need to remember the following. Remove unit and apply thin set around core drilling and adhesive to the subfloor. We sincerely hope this installation application will assist you and give guidance for a successful full installation.